Stop Big Will Evanson. And it's time to talk sports. We had a big night of sports on the Western Slope, starting with a headliner, a big time Western Slope battle on the gridiron at Stoker Stadium. It's the Montrose Redhawks undefeated at 4 and 0 oh in town to take on the 5A Fruit of Wildcats. Desperate to get after it after following a heartbreaking overtime loss to Grand Junction. The Montrose offense went right down the field. On the opening drive, Elijah Womack is somewhere in there with the ball. Touchdown Montrose. It's 7 0 and head coach Brett Mearns and his Redhawks. They are doing their thing in this first quarter. Another drive methodically down the field, this time undefeated. Untouched from two yards out, Chase Mahan scampers in Montrose quickly of 14 0. And Fruta couldn't do much on offense, but the Redhawks could. Another long drive, another score. This time, the QB keeper for Chris Mock makes it 21 0. But Fruta unable to move it with the Vera offense. They switch it up and finally decide to air it downfield. And Cooper Rao showed off the arm a bit here. And my heavens, on the outside, number seven, Carson Weddle was looking like Calvin Johnson on this drive. Now they try the deep ball, and again, Weddle has the grab. A Huge gain. How about Fruta throwing it downfield? Why not another throw to cap off their best drive of the day? Chris Bennett on the receiving end and extending it across the plane. Touchdown. Fruta not going away. It's 21 to 6 before the Montrose offense continued to hum. Under a minute left in the half, they go with the pass and a heck of a grab made in traffic by Hunter Garul. Tack on another seven for the Montrose Redhawks. They are feeling it on offense as they lead through to 28 to 6 at the half. And each team would score once more in the second half. Montrose happy to believe that clock as much as they could in half two as the Redhawks Roll and stay unbeaten. Five and O oh are the Montrose Redhawks as Fruta falls to one and four as both teams prepare for league play next week. But let's take it to Grand Junction High School. Where boy, it was utter domination from the Palisade Bulldogs. This game was quick. I got there just after halftime at Stoker, and this was already well over. Thank you to Palisade Sports on Twitter for this great video from the scene as Palisade thoroughly dominates the GJ Tigers 25-7, 25-10, 25-6. About as dominant as it gets. The, this Palisade team, folks, it is for real. Eight straight wins as they remain perfect in Southwestern League play. And the other two D51 schools squared off at Central, and it was Fruta in control to get the sweep. Central hung tough in that first set, but the Wildcats took over after that as Fruta gets over 500 in league play. A big night of action, and folks, we've got a great Friday night frenzy coming your way. The War Dog Trophy is up for grabs Friday night at Stoker as Central takes on Palisade. Plus, undefeated Grand Junction has a tough test down in Durango against the Demons. It is going to be a great night of high school football across the state. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson. All right, real quick, who wins between uh, Grand Junction and Durango? I'm going to take the Tigers. I'm going to take the Tigers down in Durango. I think we got another close game at Stoker. I'll take Palisade over Central. <laughs> okay, you heard it here first. You'll find out more tomorrow on the Friday Night Frenzy. See you then.